Hi, this is Lou Covey, Editorial Director of New Tech Press, and I'm here at the Tyndall National Institute with... Ted O'Shea. Ted O'Shea. Okay, and what do you do for Tyndall? Okay, I head up a group called the Design Technology Evaluation Group uh, in Tyndall Institute in Ireland, and we're a, a small uh, a group of uh, just 12 people within an organization of over 400 people, but we focus our expertise directly uh, on industry. and. Two areas which uh, we do that in particular are one is intellectual property investigation to help companies assert their patents mm -hmm. and we uh, specialize in uh, acquiring all of the technical evidence that's required uh, to do that. Um, we also with some key clients work in a way of understanding their full portfolio and we will also help guide them as to as to where um, effort should be focused uh, in terms of uh, companies that may be infringing on their patents and we can shortlist and focus on those products. Uh, we go all the way in terms of the evidence, we bring it to the International Trade Commission as a fax uh, stroke uh, expert witness, which we've done uh, in the last couple of years, and uh, or the district court if that's needed. Uh, much of our work is uh, with US companies or else US uh, companies based in Europe. Uh, we also though work with mainland European companies it's themselves um, and we work directly with both the companies and attorneys that may be representing what the companies want to do in this area. Another area which we have great expertise in is a mixed signal uh, characterization. So that's the second activity that we make available to industry. It's, it's shown here in this poster in a summary way. So our expertise, we chose the area of mixed signal products. So um, we, we have very, very good capability in the whole area of RF and, and mixed signal. The Institute that, uh, it began in 1982. Uh, this, that I began myself in 1982. Um, it, it, and it, did, it was started up as, uh, the reason for starting up in Ireland at the time was to try and provide an infrastructure which uh, would help encourage the whole electronics industry to grow. Um, okay, that's, that's a question I, I, I have because yeah. you know, recent news is, has Ireland is, you know, they're becoming very big in exported farm products and they've also you know, been known as one of the largest exporters of software in the world. Yeah. But never really considered Ireland as a big electronics design and manufacturing yeah. arena. Well, it, it is actually big and it uh, depends how you measure big. Uh, in terms of um, the, the activity uh, level per head of population in Ireland, it's enormous. Now, of course, a lot of people would say, it's bi how big is it in relation to the world stage? But if you look at the, the first really big company to, to come into Ireland, to, to Ireland was Analog Devices, and they're hugely successful in Ireland. Um, they're a very successful com company worldwide. Um, they're, they're, I think it's 2.9 or $3 billion company, so they're not small, uh, they're not enormous, uh, but they're, they're certainly very, very big and very successful, and very big in Ireland. Intel is also big in Ireland. They've got... Uh, a very large fab, in, in fab, fab plant in, in Dublin and also they have a design centre in uh, Shannon in Ireland. So um, not on, we're not in, in Intel it's not just fabricating uh, chips that are designed outside of Ireland but there is a design centre in Ireland which is contributing to the overall design of Intel, Intel products. Where is that design centre? That's in Shannon. Okay. Uh, beside Shannon Airport in, okay. in, in, in Ireland. There's a, a very significant indigenous industry in Ireland. I mean, just behind me here we've got Duolog, which is an Irish indigenous company uh, within the um, DAC uh, exhibition uh, this year. Um, and there are a lot of very successful indigenous Irish companies and we would like to think that our institute um, you know, contributes to an infrastructure which supports them. We're not the only one within Ireland that helps them to grow, uh, but we certainly provide a very important part. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Ted. You're very welcome.